Hi, it's Alex from Learn to Code London here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add social media icons to your website. Um, this module is part of my how to make your very own website tutorial. Um, and you can find the full tutorial, which is absolutely free um, in the link below this video. So let's begin. So why, why would you want to add social media icons to your website? Well, it's obvious really, you want, you want people you visit your website to be able to connect with you on various social media platforms. So you will see a lot of websites um, like I have here, you know, you'll have, you'll have links like this. Um, and also on my homepage, if I go to the homepage, you'll see links like this below, which you can click through and then that will take you to the appropriate social media um, platform. So for example, this will take you to the learn to code london page on facebook anyway so let's crack on with the tutorial um, what i'm going to do first is just set up um, a very basic web page for us and this will be um, taken from the previous module just so we've got something to play with that we can actually plug in our social um, media icons into so if i go back to the previous module which was all about how to make your web pages look cool with css if i take the html and put it here um, in my text editor and then create an additional file and take the css from here like so then i've got my html and c and css files which which of the basic fundamentals of any any web page. So I'm just going to create um, a new folder on my desktop. I'm just taking you guys through everything step by step, so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to call this example. Now I'm going to save this file, save the HTML file to that example folder, and I'm going to call it index.html. Save that. And then I'm going to save the CSS file, save as to my desktop, to the example folder. I'm going to call it style.css. Okay, let's just double check that's in there. We've got that. That's great. Now, if I go back to my index.html, you can see that in this particular tag, the link tag, I'm referencing the style. CSS. So that is creating a reference or a link between these two um, files. So now if I create a new tab, get my example and drag the index HTML into the web browser, then I've got my web page from the previous module, which we went through how to actually set up. Okay, so now we want to add some social media icons at the bottom here. So this is my imaginary set selling a retro skateboard um, kind of website. So let's let's go back to our module for the day. So what I'm recommending is you can you can use various um, third party icon libraries. I'm recommending something called Ion Icons and Font Awesome Icons. So for example, here in the screenshot, you can see various icons from the Ion Icons um, library. And this is the one we're going to be using. So the way we do this is we basically got a link here. And if we save that link, if we save that to, I'll save that to my downloads. And then if I find it in my finder, I've got this zip file. So on a Mac, if you double click it, it will expand um, unarchive that zip file. On Windows, it's a little bit different. You have to like right click and, and click unarchive or something like that. I'm sure you can work it out. Um, if not, um, a quick Google on how to unarchive zip files should do it. Um, so once you actually go into the Ion Icons library, then you see this set of files here. What I'm interested in is the CSS and the fonts folders. So if I select those and copy them um, using Control C, or you can just do right click copy. And then if I go back to my example, and I paste the two items 
in here, then I've got the essentials that I need to be able to insert social media icons and indeed any other icons that I want into my index HTML. Okay, so I can close that down now. Let's go back here. What I need to do now is reference um, using the same syntax, I'm going to now reference the font, um, sorry, the ion icons CSS. So what I want to do is reference CSS slash ion icons dot min dot CSS. So just a word on paths. So we're using a relative path here. So because we're in index.html, that is our current working directory in example. We want to go, we want to include the CSS file in the CSS folder, and then we want to include ion icons min.css. We can include this one. This is something called a minimized CSS file, which, which is kind of for faster loading. Um, all the spaces and comments and things like that have been shrunk down, so it's basically all in one line whereas this is the kind of more human readable format. This is the one we want. So we're going to include it here. So if I save that, that's great. Now, the way we include um, icons is using this syntax here. So let's just put that um, at the bottom here. Actually, let's, let's put it in a separate div. Remember a div is a divider tag and that we can use to lay out our web page. So if I paste that code in there, save that, and then refresh that, then hopefully I should have a Facebook icon appear in here, but it is not. Let's try work out what's what's actually not working. Um, let's have a look. And that's definitely not working. Okay, let's close that and just create a new tab. So, I mean, a lot of things with web development is when things go wrong. Um, I don't like to do too many takes of my videos. I like them to be natural. So let's try work out what's actually gone wrong here. So this is definitely the file that I'm checking out here. Example index.html. This is what I need to be loading Ah, there we go. That's the problem right there. I've I've typed CSS twice. So if I remove that and refresh that, then I've got a very small um, Facebook kind of F there that you can see. So let's um, let's surround that in an H1, which isn't the best way to make this bigger. Um, so let's just let's just try it. So you can see. So we've got that Facebook is much larger now. Now, the way I've suggested to do this to make things bigger is to actually put a font size style on that. If we, if we change that back to a div, save it, let's see if that works. Right, so that's looking really good. That's looking really good and we haven't really hacked around to make that um, an H1. So what I'm going to do is create an ID. So remember in our CSS tutorial, um, which was the previous uh, module, we learned how to use the ID tag to uniquely identify tags for styling. Um, this is called the ID selector. So I'm going to call this um, follow. And then in my style CSS, which is my own style, I'm going to put hash follow um, open curly brace, close curly brace, and I'm going to take this style out of here, place it in here, save, go back here, remove that. So hopefully now everything should be unchanged but I've got a much better, much cleaner HTML where if I remove this, you see that that goes back to small. If I put that back, so I'm basically identifying this div as with the unique identifier follow, 
and then in my style I'm using hash follow and I'm setting a font size of 50. So this is just a good way to make the icons bigger. Okay, so let's now um, create create links, create more and create links. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to copy and paste this and then I'm going to go through what's actually going on here. So let's make this a little bit bigger and format it so we can see it better. So inside the div, we've got one second, I'll just format this really quickly and then we can see what's actually going on and go through it stage by stage. Remember, these tutorials that I'm going through here are, you know, this isn't the easy way. There are shortcuts. Um, I'm teaching you kind of the fundamentals, what actual web programmers would be doing um, and going to really first principles. So, okay, so we've got a div with an ID of follow, which closes here. We've got an anchor tag being opened and an anchor tag being closed. Um, I'm referencing the Learn to Code London Facebook page and inside there we've got um, an icon called Ion Social Facebook. So we have a Facebook icon there, we'll have a Twitter icon here, and we'll have a YouTube icon here with the respective links like so. So if we save that and then refresh this page, then yep, yeah, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. I have got some weird um, kind of underscores going on here. And let's, let's have a look at why that's happening. Firstly, let's go back to our style and just make that a little bit smaller. I think, I think that's a bit too big. If we save that, refresh that. So that, that looks all right, I guess, you know, for, for, our, for our test web page that will do. So what's actually going on here? So what we can do is if you right click and hit inspect, then we can bring up this kind of debugging window within Chrome Internet Explorer will also have one. And if you hover over all the different bits in your web page, then you can see um, how they're being styled in this window here. So if, if I look at div follow, then I can see all the different styles being applied here. Um, so that is a really good way to discover which styles are being applied. So the reason that I've got these underscores here is because it's an anchor tag and the anchor tag has a text decoration underline. So what I need to do to get rid of that is remove that um, style on the anchor tag. So the way I can do that is I can basically say text decoration none, save that, and for good measure I'll put it on the hover style as well. If any of the CSS stuff is confusing, do check out my previous tutorial which covered um, CSS in more depth. This is kind of building on that and each tutorial that I'm covering is really building on top of each module. So we're, we're getting more and more complex. We're bringing a lot of things together. So if anything's confusing, um, do check out the previous tutorial or drop a comment and, and I'll be sure to respond. So if we refresh that, that looks great now. We've got really nice set of icons um, linking to our social media um, pages. So if we click on that, that will take us straight through to our Twitter page. Obviously, you know, this is this is an example and I'm linking through to the Learn to Code London social media pages. Obviously, you will then link to your own web pages um, accordingly. So you can find this example on the, on, the, on the blog post, so you can have a play around with it, um, download it, whatever, it's, it's free to use um, as you wish. Um, one more thing I'll talk about briefly is how to actually find out what text to put here. So if we go back to the tutorial, if you follow the ion icons link, if we put that into a new tab, then you can see here all the different all the different icons that you can use. So for example, I want to use this heart icon. So for this heart icon, I would put ion heart. So if for example, I wanted to put here, um, I don't know, made with, made with love, then I would simply put ion heart 
in this area here. Save that, refresh it. Um, and so I've got my little heart there. Whoops, I've misspelled made. So refresh that. So there we go. So remember, again, the development loop, making changes, saving and refreshing. Keep testing as you're developing and you should be good to go. So that's a very quick tutorial on how to you know, include social media icons and indeed any icons in your web pages. There are easier methods, which I'll be covering in the future. There are shortcuts, but we're going, we're really going for the fundamentals here. How do things work? Um, very, very fundamentals and, and kind of the hard way, if you like, uh, you know, the, the, without any too much, without too much cheating as it were. Okay. So thanks very much, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please hit the like and, and subscribe buttons and I'll be bringing you more learn to code content in, in a future video. Thanks very much. Cheers.